welcome to my channel tech planet ai so in this uh, today's video lecture so we have started uh, with our python fast api project using code tree and docker so this is the uh, recurring series in part 3 i will be explaining that how we can dockerize our python uh, fast api project and in the later series we will be uh, publishing this or uh, into aws uh, fargate right okay so let's get started so before moving forward so please uh, subscribe to my channel for the tech related updates so my channel uh, url is youtube.com slash c tech plant ai right okay so let's get started so in the previous uh, lecture so we have made a demo fast api project uh, with our uh, poetry if you haven't watched these videos so please go to my channel and watch the previous videos so there we have uh, made a dummy project in which we are trying to uh, make an api uh, which is your default api in which you can uh, uh, return only the hello world right so ultimately you can modify this uh, uh, router and then you can start building your own uh, own project okay so then we also did it by using poetry and poetry to taught tomal file which consists of the dependencies which we are using right so let's get started and let's run our project and see if it is working fine on our local yes it is working fine so my uvcon is running on this uh, port 8001 and you can see that hello world is being uh, published on this particular browser okay Right, so this is working fine so now what we need to do is we need to make this api uh, run inside our docker container okay so that for that i will just make a new file which is my docker file okay so remember this docker file will be uh, placed not inside your backend folder but outside your backend folder because like it, it is in the root uh, you are in the demo fast api poetry project and under that you can access the docker file okay okay so i have already have my docker file ready so i will just copy paste and try to explain what is happening in this uh, docker uh, file okay right so let's try to see so i have copied this from somewhere else and uh, we are taking the python 3.9 right and uh, in the toml so we are trying to say that we are trying to work with python 3.9 and onwards right so here if there is uh, your python version is 3.10 and here in the docker file you have mentioned or you have taken the base image as python 3.9 so it will fail because it will say that in the docker in the pyproject.toml file it is referring to python 3.10 and here you are referring to python 3.9 so it will be a, a contradiction and it will raise an error okay so now uh, this we are trying to catch a python image from the python base as python base and then we are just uh, trying to initialize the environmental variables right so we have the poetry version so here you can specify the poetry version the current version which we are trying to use is 1.1.3 right and the poetry home is the default location and pi setup path is this setup and you can have your virtual environment in this particular environment right so this is all under your poetry then we are trying to have the poetry environmental path which is this okay so then we are trying to get the base python base and we are trying to run, uh, run the updations on that linux server okay then we are trying to install the poetry with our python version and then we are trying to set up the working directory and we are trying to copy all the contents of the project.toml file right and the poetry log right once it has been uh, copied all the files have been copied we are trying to run the poetry install okay so what it does so it will take the pyproject.toml file and it will read all the dependencies and try to install the dependencies on this virtual environment and it will take the python from this python version right okay from this toml this this toml file it will take the python version with to install okay right then uh, once we have done so we are trying to copy the backend so this is your backend this is our project whole project we are trying to copy it 
and then we are trying to run the command which is ubicon and then we are inside our backend and it's the main and we have app and we have specified the host and port okay right so one slight modification which i have done here is that uh, inside your api inside your app we have your main file right so this is your main right so instead of uh, running here and parameterizing via settings app host and app port so i will not do this i will try to take uh, or i will just comment this and now i am trying to if you wanted to run locally so you can just uh, uncomment this and try to local it uh, uh, try to run it but if you wanted to run it via docker so i would prefer so you have that app start uh, app in which it will scroll into the start application and it will initialize your app that is your uh, uh, first api right right and from the docker file it will take the host and the ports okay right so this we are trying to do it okay so for that uh, let me now our docker file has been complete so now let's try to build our docker so first of all i will see docker ps so this is the command which will see that how many processes are been running on my current docker so if this uh, gives you an error so this means your docker is not uh, started right so docker client is not started so so i made another video that how you can install your docker on your machine so if you haven't watched that video so please go to that video and watch it right so my docker desktop is running right so you can click on the dashboard also and you can check that what all things are running on my docker and what all images or containers i have made right so in that previous video so i had made an image of the hello world and uh, it was running successfully and we have tested that our docker is running fine okay so okay so now we'll try to run or uh, build our docker a docker image so what i will say i will say docker build minus t and i will put a name that is demo fast api part 3 right something like that and i will put latest and put a dot right so now what it will do is what all commands have been written so it will try to it will start building it and uh, now it has uh, run in poetry install right and it has copied all the contents from the backend to the backend and then he, it has trying to name that docker right so i've already run it once before this video has been made so it will not take much of the time but if you are trying to run it as a fresh user so it will take some time okay right so now we have successfully built our docker image and uh, we can run this image so i will say docker run minus t and i will specify the port as 80 80 and i will say demo fast api the latest So it is saying that okay so I forgot to mention here minus p okay so now this is the uh, identification or the identifier which has been done so now I wanted to check so I will simply say docker logs and I will copy this thing and I will try to check or verify okay so now I am inside my docker and this container and I have checked that log so this uh, server has been started so now my application is running inside my docker container okay so it is running in the this port and I can access easily access this so if I uh, now click here so now you can see that the hello world is trying to run so this whole web app or the fast API project is running inside my docker container and I am trying to access it okay so this is how you can build your project using your docker and you can host it uh, onto your ec uh, on your fargate or in your lambda or anywhere else right so this is how we can build our fast api project using your docker okay so this was all uh, for for uh, me now right i hope you enjoy this video so please subscribe to my channel and for the more tech related updates right uh, thank you guys uh,